Hello guys, welcome to the Canada Tutorials. This is Zakir and today I'm going to introduce the character type. So in this tutorial you will learn how to input a character in your program. So let's first start writing our program. STDIO the library. If you don't know about library, you can go to my previous videos and get a reference from there. Okay. So here we need to write a, B, C, A, B, C, or some other letter. So how to do that? Well, in our daily life, we can just write it. But in C program, C programming, we you have to specify the data type, which is character, denoted by char, car, and we have to we have a variable. Let's call it a variable name and the variable is t all right so now this single quotation mark you have to include your character in this single quotation mark now the print f we have we need to print the, the character semicolons the character is percent C as you know that we have to specify the type of the data we have entered so the type of data we are using in this function is character so we are using percent C for float it's percent F for integer it's percent D I'll leave it at the end of this video and here we have to specify what do we mean by this percent T what variable are we referring to so we are referring to name variable which is here as you can see now let's finish our program with the return value 0 okay so what will what's will be the output of this program the program the output of this program will be the character is t no errors green bar okay the character is So here, what kind of possible errors can you make? So you can either skip this thing or you can forget to write the person C and instead of person C you write person D. Let's see what happens. Oh, you get a random number. So every time you enter a wrong, a wrong type, like person instead of person C, you write person D or person F, you will get a random number. You can also change the variable here, plus t. Okay, here, the case sensitive part, I'm going to explain it again. You cannot use it like this. Capital N A M E and I'm going to change percent C, okay. You cannot use capital N instead of small n. You have to write it exactly as you wrote it in your as a variable name. Okay, you got an error. It says error name undeclared first used in this function. It means it has an error which is we know that this is not capital N this is small n name right percent t is t so let's make it a little bit clear by introducing a new line character okay so now it's clear character is is t thanks for watching and Thanks for watching and please do subscribe to our channel.